Can a mega project prevent a $1 trillion economic disaster? Imagine a bottleneck so vital that its disruption could cripple entire industries and cost millions of jobs. That's the reality facing the Sioux Locks, where old infrastructure threatens to unleash economic chaos. The Sioux Locks are a series of parallel locks situated on Sioux St. Marie, Michigan, and operated by the US Army Corps of Engineers. But what exactly are locks? Locks are essentially water elevators for ships. They allow vessels to navigate changes in water levels by moving them between bodies of water at different elevations. At the Sioux Locks, they enable ships to bypass a 21-foot waterfall drop in the St. Mary's River, allowing safe and efficient passage between Lake Superior and the lower Great Lakes. These locks are crucial to the US economy, facilitating the movement of 75 million tons of cargo and 7,000 passengers annually. They are particularly vital for the steel industry, with a significant portion of US iron ore passing through this narrow corridor. Currently, the Sioux Locks feature two main locks, the MacArthur Lock and the Poe Lock. These engineering marvels are more than just passageways. They are the backbone of the Great Lakes shipping system and critical to the US economy. The Poe Lock, in particular, handles the largest vessels transporting iron ore and other essential commodities. This makes it an indispensable asset for industries across the nation, especially steel manufacturing, which relies heavily on the iron ore shipped through these waters. Any disruption to the Sioux Locks would send shockwaves through the economy, affecting supply chains and industries far beyond the Great Lakes region. This makes their smooth operation not just an economic priority, but a matter of national security. A 2015 Department of Homeland Security study highlighted the potential consequences of a six-month closure of the Polock, warning of a $1.1 trillion economic loss and the potential loss of 11 million jobs nationwide. This underscores the lock's role as a vital link in both the transportation network and national security infrastructure. Originally conceived in the mid-19th century, the Sioux locks were built to solve a pressing problem, connecting the vast resources of Lake Superior to the rest of the Great Lakes. The pioneering efforts to construct these locks laid the foundation for what has become a cornerstone of American trade. The history of the Sioux Locks dates back to the late 18th century, when the Northwest Fur Company attempted to construct a lock on the St. Mary's River in 1798. However, this effort was thwarted during the War of 1812, when American forces destroyed the lock to disrupt British trade. The first US lock, known as the State Lock, was constructed in 1855 and initially operated by the state of Michigan. This ambitious project, alongside the Erie Canal, marked a significant leap in US engineering and commerce, facilitating the transportation of resources vital to industrial growth. As demand for shipping capacity grew, the Sioux Locks complex expanded to include several new locks. The Weitzel Lock, completed in 1881, accommodated larger vessels, but was eventually replaced by the MacArthur Lock in 1943. Built during World War II, the MacArthur Lock was crucial for wartime logistics, ensuring a steady flow of materials and remaining operational today. In 1896, the Poe Lock was introduced to manage the increasing size of Great Lakes vessels, and it received a major upgrade in 1968 to handle even larger ships. The Davis Lock, finished in 1914, was once the longest lock globally and was constructed to support growing commercial traffic along with its twin, the Sabin Lock, built in 1919. Both the Davis and Sabin Locks were decommissioned in 2010 as advancements in technology and shipping requirements evolved. Over the years, they have evolved to meet the demands of ever-growing maritime commerce, ensuring the flow of vital resources across the Great Lakes. However, as we look to the future, it becomes clear that this historic infrastructure faces new challenges. The aging locks and increasing pressures of modern trade underscore the urgent need for further innovation and expansion. As of today, only two locks are operating, the MacArthur Lock and the Poe Lock. The latter handles the largest vessels, but it was built in 1896. This lock has exceeded its lifespan and requires frequent maintenance and repairs. Imagine the consequences of an extended maintenance shutdown, potentially lasting over six months. The impact would ripple through the entire US economy as the steel industry, heavily reliant on the uninterrupted flow of iron ore, 
would face crippling shortages. Such a scenario poses a grave threat to countless industries and millions of jobs, which makes a new lock not just an option, but a necessity. This isn't just about keeping things the same. A transformation in how trade is conducted in today's fast-paced world is needed. The Suez Canal, for example, generates $9.4 billion in annual revenue and plays a crucial role in international trade. As global trade grows with e-commerce and online shopping, the importance of the Sioux Locks only increases. At the Sioux Locks, 75 million tonnes of cargo are already facilitated each year, supporting the steel industry and more. The proposed new lock is expected to prevent a potential $1.1 trillion economic disaster. The Sioux new lock is expected to replace the decommissioned Sabin and Davis locks, providing a crucial solution to the bottleneck problem. Once constructed, the Sioux new lock will allow the Po lock to undergo a major overhaul. Upon completion, the Sioux will boast two 1,200-foot locks, significantly enhancing its capacity and efficiency. The scale of this project is impressive, with a total investment of $3.3 billion reflecting its complexity and importance. The construction of the Sioux New Lock is divided into three distinct phases, each focusing on different aspects to enhance the operational capacity of the Sioux Locks. The first phase, which began on May 4, 2020, focused on deepening the upstream approach to accommodate larger vessels. By increasing the channel depth from 24 feet to 30 feet, modern ships can safely approach the new lock. Completed in August 2022, this phase finished ahead of schedule and under budget, initially estimated at $922 million. The second phase aims to stabilize the existing approach walls to support modern vessels. This involves constructing new upstream approach walls, allowing ships to moor while waiting to pass through the new lock. By mid-2023, numerous concrete caps had been placed, with further structural work ongoing. Completion is expected by summer 2024. The final phase focuses on building the new lock chamber and associated infrastructure. This includes demolishing the existing Sabin lock, excavating bedrock, constructing chamber floors and walls, installing mitre gates, and implementing a hands-free mooring system. Extensive electrical work and rehabilitation of downstream approach walls are also part of this phase. Estimated to complete by summer 2030, this phase has a base contract of approximately $1.07 billion. The Sioux New Lock Project is poised to create 1,200 jobs annually at the construction site, heavily utilizing American-made and mined products. No wonder it's a mega project, and as one, there are challenges on top of challenges that must be overcome to complete it. One of the significant hurdles is rising construction costs. The project's total cost has nearly tripled from the initial estimate of $922 million to around $3.2 billion. This increase is mainly due to inflation and higher material costs affecting construction projects nationwide. There are also worker shortages as a lack of skilled labor is impacting construction efforts. This is a common issue across many industries and has led to delays and higher costs for the project. Funding remains a significant challenge. The US Army Corps of Engineers USACE, is actively working to secure adequate funding each year to keep the project on track, as an additional $629 million is needed to stay on schedule. Maintaining the operation of the existing locks while building the new lock is also a priority. Careful planning is essential to ensure that shipping traffic continues smoothly without major disruptions, given the economic impact of any potential lock closure. Furthermore, the project faces environmental and logistical challenges. The construction involves complex tasks like extensive excavation, demolition of existing structures, and installing new systems. These activities must be carefully coordinated to minimize environmental impact and ensure safety for workers and marine traffic in the area. Despite these challenges, progress continues. The construction is currently in its second phase, expected to finish by the end of the summer. Afterward, phase three will begin, focusing on additional construction work. Once completed, the new lock will greatly improve the waterway for shipping. When the Po lock is updated, the two locks will work together, 
providing a significant boost to the economy and making the US shipping system even stronger. The Sioux locks are undergoing a major transformation, poised to revolutionize US shipping and significantly impact the economy. This ambitious project promises to solve the challenges posed by the aging Po lock and secure the future of trade through this critical waterway. Do you believe the new lock can prevent a $1 trillion economic disaster and safeguard the future of US trade? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, 